Good morning. We are currently on the road. We are heading out from Crater Lake and we're going to th driving up the coast to Thor's Well. Uh, it's going to be about a four, another four hours. Tim's driving right now. And once we get back on the, the main road, I'm going to take over. I did my first driving when we were coming down to Crater Lake. And I'm okay on, I'm okay on the, the big roads, but these little, the Crater Lake roads are a little narrow and windy. So I'm going to wait until we get onto Highway 138 and then I'm going to take over. But it should be a pretty drive. It looks like we're going straight through the forest. The, I can't remember the name of it. Um, forest and then up the coast on Highway 101, which is supposed to be one of the most beautiful highways in all of America. So. That should be nice. Anything you want to say? Nope. Okay. <laughs> drivers and we stopped at Diamond Lake viewpoint and the lake is just down there it's not quite as impressive as Crater Lake but it's still pretty there's a snow topped mountain over the back but these viewpoints go that are just literally off the side of the road it's pretty good so we are currently here we have to drive all the way over here and then we're gonna get to here and then we're gonna go over a little bit and up the coast. So, looks like it's gonna be a pretty drive. Stopped off at a little uh, beach along the Oregon coast. It's pretty darn beautiful here. It's very windy, so you might not be able to hear a thing that I'm saying. But we're about to put Loki into the sea, and hopefully he will enjoy it. Good morning. We've just woken up on our last day of this trip and last night we drove up from, or yesterday we drove up from Crater Lake to Thor's Well. We missed high tide so we decided to spend the night and get up this morning and go see Thor's Well at high tide because it's supposed to be the best. So we went around looking for somewhere to camp. Uh, everywhere was full. But we finally, at the end of the night, managed to find this wonderful location and just got parked and settled in. And let me show you this gorgeous view that we woke up today because it is second to none. I mean, have you ever seen such a beautiful casino? Yeah, we're, we're parked in a casino parking lot. Uh, we looked on compendium.com and it shows you parking lots that you can stay in. So we stayed here 
and basically you just park they have a they have designated RV parking and you park in a spot take your number go inside and let security know what number you're in and if you sign up for the players club which is free you get to stay for free for one night and then I think after that it costs 50 points per night but you know we're not gonna be back uh, but I was actually surprised by the casino how responsible they were about COVID. You could win without a mask. They had masks to give you if you didn't have one. You got temperature checked at the door and all the tables, every other slot machine was off if they were in a row. Every other one was off and the tables where the dealer like, where people sit at the table and the dealer hand stuff, like car, does cars like blackjack. Like that, they had a screen between the dealer and the people with little cutouts for where the cards would go. Uh, all the employees were wearing masks, uh, the food was takeout only, so yeah, I was surprised for my casino how responsible they're being, but I guess they have to be, otherwise no one would come. So yeah, this morning we're getting, once we're packed up, we're heading back up to Thor's well. The high tide is at 12.30, but we're going to get there early because we think it's going to be pretty busy. So we're going to head up there for about 10, 10.30, and then just sit in the van until uh, 12.30. Maybe go for a walk, although we did go down there yesterday, so it's not that exciting. But we just want to see the big spout when it comes in at uh, 12.30. So hopefully that's what's coming next.